Mm. Back in here again, you know, live direct, you know. Hi, guys. Ooh, yeah. Uh, concepts. Uh, this is how you eliminate the gray area. You feel me? Or you find the gray area. All right, my shirt. Or you can take it off. You know, you can eliminate it. You can take it. You can find it. All right. Let's get straight to the point, man. Everyone has a gift. Right? Tap into it. Trick you out your gift? Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to others. You feel me? <laughs> Put in work. Put in time. Experience is the best teacher. It's the best teacher. Experience is the best teacher. You feel me? People are very afraid of their potential abilities, right? I'm putting myself in the boat too, because I'm not going to separate myself because sometimes we have this gift that we don't um, want to um, mold or... Uh, um, embody, you feel me? So we look for ways to distract ourselves and to distract others, right? Or we try to negate away from the gift, right? So there's people out there that um, They know the gift that you have, but they don't want you to tap into that. But it's inevitable. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. And in order to get to that next level of expertise, one must make a fool of himself. Meaning, practice. Meaning, um, you know, uh, you have to be willing to go through the stages of becoming a great. People don't, they don't necessarily, necessarily like that. But I don't give a fuck. Because that's what I chose to do. That's what I'm destined to do. That's what I came here to do. So it's not for anyone to stop my gift. You feel me? And most of the times it's ourselves, but there's people out there that want to test you and, you know, they want to um, dim your light and stuff like that. But it just don't happen that way. It don't happen that way. So they scatter like roaches. You know what I'm saying? And that's just, that's just the reality of it. Either they're going to come around and be like, yo, I see what you got going on and as far as your gift and stuff like that, or they stay away because it's too much to handle. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. They can't stand it. So people take the easy route. And when they take the easy route, they try to take the easy route to make you seem as if that long route, right, is, is, um, a joke or it's, or it's, um, or it's lame or it's lame for a man to, um, 
to tread the waters in order to get to uh the uh fantasy island you know what i'm saying because fantasy turns into reality you know what i'm saying so there's people around that's going to try to make you seem like you're not that guy but you always been that guy and a lack of understanding and understanding when you say certain things that people don't grasp the concept they internalize that shit and when they internalize it it make them feel as if they're less than or they cannot shine without you being at a certain level. And that's the dumbest shit ever. That's why you continue to walk into the light and to continue to be who you are. Because um, when they feel like you're not that one or you are that one, you know what I'm saying? They're going to try to make you seem like you're not that one when you've been that one. And it's up to you to step up to the podium and speak your truth, you know what I'm saying? And say what you gotta say. And it takes courage, it takes, you know, because we, we sometimes look at the crowd and we get, you know, shy of public speaking and we get nervous and stuff like that. But you realize that a lot of people in the crowd are, you know, feeding off of the confidence that you, um, um, deliver or disperse as you're displaying your gifts or your talents. You know what I'm saying? And there's people that's going to challenge you to see if you really know what you know and if you can do what you do. And you know what I'm saying? I'm a doer. You feel me? So I can sit in a room with anyone and express myself to where there's clarity in what I'm saying. And then there's just people that don't want this to exist. And it's the dumbest shit ever because if you can illuminate yourself and others, then a city shines. You know what I'm saying? Look at places like Dubai and stuff like that. Why wouldn't you want to turn your city into a place like that? You know what I'm saying? I don't shy away from confrontation. I don't shy away from conversation. I don't shy away from debates and stuff like that. Right or wrong, I'm going to speak my piece. And then sometimes when I don't want to speak my piece, I don't speak my piece. It's all a choice and decision. And those are different things. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to make a choice. I mean to make a decision. You're going to be tried, tested, man. But a test is made to be passed. Even if you fail, you keep getting the same test, test, test until you pass the test. So eventually the test is made to be passed. And if you live in the end, then you pass before you even took the test. You feel me? Sometimes we battle debate for the sport, but um, the end all be all is knowing yourself and knowing what you stand for and knowing that you're always learning and you're always um, a student at what you're doing. And when you embody what you're doing, um, you don't want to stop getting better at it if you love it. You feel me? And I don't like people that try to fucking convince people that what they doing it's not what they supposed to be doing, you feel me? Because they feel like you have to follow this system of um, that was implemented for you to be regular, you feel me? I wasn't born regular, and I've been a part of certain systems that um, it works for some people. I don't, you know... Um, 
um, belittle that system or I, I don't speak foul of that system, but it just doesn't work for me. You know what I'm saying? And I've, am, I, I'm a creator, so I've, I have created different ways to use systems in order to create my own system that works for me, that can make life easier for me and, and other people. All right. So I see these things and then these things are overlooked and looked at and frowned upon because people lack the understanding or the understanding. And the smartest thing to do is to be to, to, to come and check someone and be like, yo, let me understand the concepts of how things work and how you put things down. But then it turns into a popularity contest and a popularity contest. You know what I'm saying? That's just like it's like a dance off. You know what I'm saying? Like. Um, and a lot of people going to go with what's popular, but a lot of the greats, you know what I'm saying, are at any, any industry, you know what I'm saying? Any industry it's always overlooked, you know what I'm saying? At first, always overlooked at first. And then they come in with the new and then the new becomes the norm. And then that norm becomes that norm for a certain amount of time. And then someone comes with a new piece of that puzzle to evolve that system. So um, this whole video is just about like, you get to a point where you just, you separate yourself from a lot of people and not because there's a uh, disagreement, but it's just a lack of understanding of what you were trying to do for yourself from them. And sometimes only you can see the vision that you're trying to implement on um, into the world. And also, you know what I'm saying? It's just self uh, realization and building oneself um, from a certain point to the next point, you know what I'm saying? Rediscovering certain stuff, becoming a better person, um, learning things, learning concepts, growing, you know what I'm saying? Like that. But it's very ignorant to like come at somebody because you don't understand the concept. So you try to like make up reasons why you don't want to understand the concept purposely. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like you telling yourself, like, my nigga, like, I wasn't made to be intelligent, or I wasn't made to be smart, or I wasn't made to be this type of person. So let me just play it safe and be a part of this system that's going to um, keep me at a certain level. And I ain't come on this earth to live like that, man. I didn't come in this world to be that type of player. You know what I'm saying? I came on the earth to do what I came to do. And that's just how I feel. And that's just what I'm, anything about how I feel, it's just the facts. Like I can't deny who I am. And I can't deny that, you know what I'm saying? I've found ways to do certain things. Like I don't know more than anyone. I don't feel more than anyone. I don't, I don't, I don't get into those type of things, but I know what I want to do. And I stand on what I want to do, whether anyone agrees or disagrees with it. And if you feel like I don't have the intellect or the intelligence to express myself, we can sit in a boardroom on any given day and we can um, trade thoughts and concepts of how my concepts and ideas are very relevant without making one feel like they're nuts, crazy, or going out of their mind. And it's not a forceful thing. It's a very calm thing, especially when you know who you are. You don't have to force or anything. But like when you're trying to put a shade and a veil and a lamp and stuff like that over people and try to put like, you know what I'm saying, blind ones, it's just a reflection of what you are and who what you stand for. You know what I'm saying? So when you try to do those type of things, it's just showing the person what type of person you are. 
But when you come in from a clear perspective and the water is clear, then you start to see things very transparent. And, um, you know, some, everyone has their different approaches. You know what I'm saying? And that's why sometimes it's like, you got to be careful what you say, I guess, because eh, sometimes it comes off as... Um, Mm, threatening because certain people don't speak that lingo, that language or that terminology or the ebonics or, or, you know, that lexicon There's different types of lexicons and stuff like that. So, you know, um, you have to, um, express yourself, man, express yourself with the thoughts of, Who you came to be, what you stand for, you know, what are your gifts? What are your abilities? What are your practices? What makes you you? How does one define themselves by the circumstances that you live in? And how can you take your circumstances to the next level without um, being um, uh, broken down by the... Uh, by the um, lust, and not even the lust, the um, society's um, society's playground of distractions. That was the best way I could put that. Feel me? You gonna get. stuck in a box you feel me and I don't live in a box even if I'm in a room that's boxed in my mind is like <clears throat> my body may be here but my mind is abroad you know what I'm saying not abroad as in a girl but abroad but it's masculine and feminine so it's you know it's however you want to take it you feel me but you already know, Jazz America. Feel me? <laughs> they gonna try to do everything possible to um, try to destroy your character sometimes. But you know what I'm saying? We rise above that all the time, always. You know what I'm saying? And we um, persevere. You know what I mean? And we um, tap into the God-given abilities to make oneself um an asset to society so that the community can benefit off of your um works efforts and contributions so that you can evolve the world while you're here and i think that's the um, gold, gold and the goals of the human being while he or she is here being present and doing the work. And yeah, I, I'm just saying that <clears throat> right now, you know, put in that work, do that practice and make things come to life, you know? Because we are creators at the end of the world and don't get caught up into the... um. He say, she say, and stuff like that. Because those are just distractions. Just get caught up into yourself first. You know what I'm saying? Build and destroy. Or destroy and build. And then recreate. And then once you recreate, you start to see the reflections. And you start to see the kinks in, in yourself and, to, and, and other people. And you see where you belong and where you don't belong. And then you start to make decisions of um, where you need to be and where you don't need to be. And it's simple like that. It's very easy. It's very easy. You know what I'm saying? Once you got a clear mind and you put yourself in a space where you're um, concentrated on where you need to be, it's very easy. You know what I'm saying? And don't dwell on um, the things that, you know what I'm saying, you can't change the past or certain occurrences and stuff like that. Let that shit go. You know what I'm saying? Move forward. 
Because if you can't move forward, you're going to be stuck like cement. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and that can't happen. Be still, but don't be stuck. You know what I'm saying? There you have it. L.A.K. I'll let your boy. Uh, Jazz America.